I'm Victoria Berry, I'm the second lieutenant deployed with Aliwal Troop Royal Lancers. Uh, we're currently deployed on exercise Headhunter Forge, uh, which is a Calfex training exercise occurring on the Mova Pisky training area. It's been a really interesting build up in order to understand the partner nations uh, operating procedures and how they expect us to work with them. Uh, we've also been able to deliver uh, some understanding to them on what we do and how we do it and we've been able to develop the best operating practices as a battle group and continue to do so after this exercise. It's been a really interesting exercise in order to understand uh, the complexity of planning and the delivery of not only the uh, capabilities we hold as a multinational battle group out here, uh, but also the complexity that can be passed down and delivered to the lowest level uh, down to Task Force Scout, which I am part of. It's been really rewarding uh, to work so closely with the Americans, integrated uh, as our task force, and to be able to deliver and report back to higher formations as part of a wider picture. The progress we've made here in terms of developing operating procedures across the battle group uh, in a multinational context uh, is excellent and it shows the work we have put in so far. Uh, this will only continue uh, not only through the rest of our rotation but future rotations to come. My name is Captain David Pauls with HHC 19 CAV which is a member of Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group Poland. Today we're conducting a battle group live fire that's where we bring militaries of different nations and weapons of different sizes together to achieve overwhelming uh, firepower and effect. We have a number of vehicles out here from a number of different nations. We have the American M1A2 Abrams. We have the British Jackals. We have the Croatian Panzers. We have the Romanian Gepards. And we have some of the Polish PT-91s, I believe. We have all of these units operating together. The British uh, scouts and the American scouts are working together. The Croatian and U.S. artillery are working together. And then we have the Polish tanks and the American tanks working together as well. With an element of this size and with live fire rounds going down, uh, it is always a challenge of interoperability, of synchronization, and of safety whenever it comes to these kinds of operations. This kind of Massive firepower is insanely difficult to achieve. This kind of synchronization across all these different warfighting functions is incredibly difficult to master. And so getting all these, the perfect synchronization, the perfect triggers, all this kind of stuff is inherently difficult. But we're out here and we're showing that it can be done and it can be done efficiently and it can be done well.